Funding provided by... You work hard to feed them well. That's why at Fairway, we're committed to our foundation of personalized service while treating our customers like family and valuing our employees. Fairway Meat and Grocery, that's what we're all about. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialists, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. to the Iowa River Landing in Coralville, Iowa, the host for the 2022 Iowa High School Athletic Union State Volleyball Tournament. The fans are entering the building, and it's a beautiful building as they have done a great job transitioning as the host of the Iowa High School Volleyball Championships. We had the quarterfinals earlier this week, the semifinals yesterday, and now it's Championship Thursday as we're looking for the 4A championship match. We already know one champion, but who's it gonna be in class 4A? Either number one or the Cinderella, number six, Clear Creek Amana. Exactly, a beautiful facility here in the Extreme Arena. This should be a good matchup between these teams. Xavier has the experience. They look great on paper, they back it up, but Clear Creek Amana, they can play some scrappy defense and cause frustration for their opponents. So I think this is gonna be a battle between these teams. It's gonna be a good one. Both of them can win a championship. So let's see who can do it today. And we've seen both teams down and find a way to climb back to win the set or the match. So there's a lot of fight in these two 4A teams. Let's introduce you to those teams. First Clear Creek Amana, fourth trip to state, first since 2014. They set a school record with 34 wins this year and highlight a couple players that really are important in their success. Yes, Brooklyn as the libero can dig so effective in that back court and Wood as the setter doing a great job. The last time Clear Creek Amana was at state, they were 3A, so they've grown now in 4A, taking on some larger schools and competitors. They're gonna bring some fight today. And Xavier Saints number one in the state. Their seventh straight trip to state. You can see uh, some all tournament team captains in basketball that have some experienced multi-sport athletes for Xavier. Multi-sport is right. They are incredible athletes. And for Xavier with this experience, both in volleyball, basketball, other sports, I look to see them be calm, cool, and collected, able to respond to anything Clear Creek Amana can bring to them, but they gotta prove it, right? On paper is one thing, playing it out on the court is another. The teams are about ready to get introduced onto the court. And they really make it a big deal. It's not just they come out of the locker room onto the court. There's a lot of things they do for the fan experience and the student athletes as well. Iowa City Liberty is your 5A champion, and we're ready for the 4A champion. There it is, there's the fire, that means we're getting close. The Clear Creek Amanda Clippers.
Turn the lights on as we get set to meet the teams and the individual student athletes who have gotten to this Class 4A championship match. It's now time to introduce the players and coaches in today's 4A championship matchup. First of all, the team from Clear Creek Command of the Clippers, here are your non-starters. Number one, Jessica Wagner. Number three, Lexi Moran. Number eight, Kennedy Wood. Number nine, Silvana Caballo. Number 13, Ava Locklear. Number 18, Hannah Graben. Number 20, Brianna Myers. And number 21, Addie Campbell. Your assistant coaches, Rachel Berkland, Jamie Stratton, Molly Hastings, Natalie Fry, Rachel Hovde. Now, here's your starters for the Clippers of Clear Creek Amana. A junior number two, Ashlyn Pitcher. A junior number six, Bliss Beck. A freshman, number seven, Emily Henderson. A junior number 15, Sam Scrag. Junior number 17, Addison Gislesson. And a freshman, number 22, Avery Lauer. Your libero is a junior, number four, Meg Berkland. Head coach for the Clippers, Jackie Club. Now let's meet the Xavier Saints. Here are your non-starters. Number one, Naomi Durin. Number five, Molly Garrison. Number six, Ali Rinkenberger. Number seven, Sierra Durin. Number nine, Taylor Rexroth. Number 12, Chloe McDermott. Number 14, Sydney Huber. And number 16, Carissa Timmerman. Assistant coaches, Kate Clank, Amy Weiland, Nancy Oberding, and Seth Williams. Now, here's your starters for the Xavier Saints. A senior, number three, Macy Cadlick. A sophomore, number 10, Carly Junker. A senior, number 11, Anna Shoger. A sophomore, number 13, Libby Fendel. Senior, number 17, Annika Ivester. And a junior, number 19, Ava Turner. Your libero, a senior, number four, Brooklyn Miller. Head coach for the Saints, Austin Feiler. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you our officials for this 4A championship. Our first referee, Jennifer Wick. Second referee, Sean Peterson. Line judges, Carl, Carl Woldrich and Sarah Tyne. All right, let's play some championship volleyball. The stage is set before we get the first serve. Beth, what are the keys to the match for these two teams vying for the Class 4A title? For Clear Creek, Amana, they want to apply pressure. The Clippers are looking to make Xavier uncomfortable by applying pressure from the service line. They're hoping to force the Saints out of system to slow down the Saints' offense. And secondly, they want to battle with confidence. They fought hard to earn their place here in the state title match with five set wins in both the quarters and the semifinals. So the Clippers have what it takes to win. And today, they want to play with excitement. They want to execute their strategy. And they just want to leave all their effort on the court in this championship match. Yeah, it's not easy getting here. They've earned their spot. What's it going to take for Xavier Saints? Number one team in the state in 4A. For Xavier, they want to control the net. Their roster has good size and really good experience. They want to leverage those positives to put up a strong net presence, both in solid blocks and aggressive swings. 
And then finally, no let up. Mm -hmm. We talked about it on paper. Xavier is the favorite coming into the finals. They're technically strong in many categories, but now they need to support their top ranking by communicating well and battling as a team with no let up to finish their season. All right, we're ready for this 4A championship. And first it will be Meg Berkland of Clear Creek, Amanda to serve the 5'2 junior libero. Number one on the team in digs is the libero. Number one in service aces as well. That ball is returned as the Clippers go to work. And there's two types of blue out there. I would say the, the lighter blue, the brighter blue is Clear Creek, Amanda, and the darker navy uh, tops are the Xavier Saints on your screen. First point goes to the Clippers. And their crowd is loving it. Second time in a row that we have two communities playing for a championship that is very, they're very close geographically to where this match is being played. Yes, 5A, we had Eastern Iowa schools, and same thing now in 4A, more Eastern Iowa, very close to this extreme arena. So good community support, student sections, family, fans, everybody came today. One to one in the first. Xavier defeated number eight Bishop Helen. On Monday, Halloween in uh, the quarterfinals, in the semifinals, they defeated Western Dubuque, the number five seed, to get to this spot. Clear Creek of Mana had an upset in the to get to state and then defeated number three, Marion, on Monday, and yesterday defeated number two, North Scott. So they pretty much played and beaten everyone except for Xavier. So it's a tough road to get to a state title any, any way you go, but to defeat three, two, and then one would be really impressive. Very impressive, and you're right. They have battled hard just to get to this point. They've earned it, so they can have confidence knowing, hey, we can play against the top-rated teams. We've done it. We've won before. We need to do it again. Great swing as Addison Gislason gets the kill and Coach Jackie Club. Ninth year coaching, all nine years at Clear Creek Amana. 230 career wins as she tells her student athlete where to serve, what zone she wants. Off the block, good job to stick with it. To keep it alive was Henderson. That ball goes out of bounds, and Xavier with the point. Leading the other team, Xavier is Austin Filer, seventh year coaching all of them at Xavier. 213 wins, only 45 losses. He's been a state qualifier each and every year he's been a head coach. Quite the accomplishment every single year. Xavier is a quality program. Tyler doing a good job leading them to continued success, consistent year after year. The student athletes might change, but that program culture and mentality of winning has stayed, and, and Coach Filer has done a good job leading that. The near service ace scrambling. Now the free ball for CCA. The attack. Great up in the back row, but then out of sorts defensively. It's an easy point for Xavier. Six to two, starting to get a little separations here in the early going. A little bit. The Clippers have been scrappy already, but not able tra to transition that into points. Xavier staying calm. The ball keeps coming back, and they're going to keep swinging. Xavier able to pull ahead early in this set one. A lot of height on both these 4A teams. Height isn't everything in the sport of volleyball, but when you're playing close to the net, it sure helps to have a, a couple inches on your reach. We've reached our first time out, and I think it's a good time for Clear Creek Amanda to get organized here as they trail by five here in the opening set. We're going to listen into one of the huddles, and here's Jackie Club with Clear Creek Amanda and ready to go on second ball over. Remember what I said, that every time there's going to be a hand on your ball. Have you drawn the block? That's not happening. We don't need to do alternate service. 
frequency because you're passing the ball very well. Keep passing the ball. Do you understand? Off speed shot, you have to get full transition in order for you to terminate. She's going to set you off the net. Hey, don't play scared. You got it. Hey, get back into it. Let's go. Great strategy there. Trailing by five. You know, Clear Creek Amana. It's their first trip to state since reaching the 3A semifinals in 2014. This isn't a stage they've been in uh, recently. Not recently, but it has been this week, and they have stepped up to the plate. So calming her team down, Coach Club reminding them, hey, we're passing well in serve receive. Of course, I just said yeah. that, and, and there's an ace, so I apologize to the Clippers on that one. <laughs> But overall, passing well as a team, just turning that into kills in their offense, right? Transitioning defense into offense. Annika Eichster had an ace and then a service air. What a tremendous player she is. Six foot four inch senior middle hitter. Averages over three kills per set and a 409 hitting percentage. Very efficient. Fantastic hitting percentage. Saints get a good swing. In there defensively was Meg Berkland. But the attack, as you'll see on the replay here, is just right dialed on the money. Libby Fandel is an outstanding hitter for Xavier. Leads her team in kills. She's one of those multi-sport athletes we highlighted at the beginning because last year, I guess March of 22, she was the 4A All-Tournament captain for Xavier's State Basketball Championship. So that's, that's multi-sport right there. And she's young. Yes, sophomore. Yeah, so last year she would have been freshman. a freshman. Absolutely. In State Basketball and now still an underclassman, a sophomore leading the team, the number one team in 4A in kills. Very talented. Number one in aces as well. Getting it through the block of Clear Creek Amana, and it's the Saints hitting double digits first. They lead by six here in the opening set. Fandel jumping high, really elevating and able to use the top part of the block for Clear Creek Amana. And looking out of sorts right now, Clear Creek Amana as they're trying to figure out how to be as effective as possible against this very strong Xavier team who's just serving bullets over the net. There's a block. Maybe the momentum will shift slightly after a play like that as Sam Scraga, the junior, gets the stuff. Avery Lauer, a freshman outside hitter serving. Block. Tip block. We play on. The standing down ball return to Clear Creek Amana. Big powerful swing. Muscling it through. That's Addison Gislison, the junior outside hitter who averages 1.4 kills per set. Good boost of confidence for the Clippers. Putting back-to-back -back points there together, just gaining some momentum, inching back into this first set. With the kill is Macy Kodlek, 5'11 senior outside hitter who has over 200 kills this season. 5'11 and really has that leaping ability. Xavier doubling up Clear Creek Amana in the opening set here in Class 4A. Good pass. Nice up there by Wood. The placement was perfect. No one was expecting the ball to land there. A tight set to the net for the Clippers, but able to handle it instead of trying to swing away because you see that huge Xavier block instead of swinging. Playing smart, seeing the court, two-handed push, sharp cross court over the net there. Really great heads up play for the Clippers to get that side out. Addison Gislason with the point. 
The set from Henderson. Net is waving. No one in the net, though, called. Sometimes the ball just hits it so hard that it starts shaking. Block, down. And it's tooled off for the point for Xavier. And out of the rotation, Carly Yonker, the sophomore outside hitter, will serve. Yonker serves a good one. Off the back, set, and down for the kill. Sam from Clear Creek, Amana on the right side for the Clippers, going after the block this time, using their hands, powering it through. Great job. If you can tool it off the block, if you can bring enough speed and velocity with the attack, it still goes down as a kill and a point. Well off the net with the swing there. Xavier, to the back row, and it's down for the point. That time high off the blocker's hand. We saw it clearly touching the blocker, so the Clippers knew in the backcourt that they had to pursue that ball. Unfortunately, it went long, not able to track it down, and just another quality swing from Xavier on the outside. Really consistent. Not a good pass, and they're just going to have to Give a free ball over to Xavier. Setter sends it over on two for the Saints. Another overpass. And a very unconventional sequence of events there. But a point goes to Clear Creek Amana. The Clippers able to go to the middle. Bliss Beck being up and an option. Connecting with her setter. Going right at the block, but it's funneled back onto the court of play. Taking their time. Xavier with options. Tip won't hit the court. Libero is so good in Meg Berkland for Clear Creek Amana. That one's down. Sometimes in longer rallies when the defense keeps digging it up, it can be frustrating to the opponent's hitters, right? You're bringing your best stuff. The defense keeps bringing it back. But I've been impressed with Xavier so far. They haven't let it fluster them. They just keep swinging. Yep. They're not going to make an unforced error. They're just going to keep swinging away. So good job from Xavier to be calm and collected here as long as the points go. And you just have to do that and bring that attitude in the sport of volleyball. Let's listen into the timeout with Austin Feiler of Xavier with the lead. We got snacks. Anybody need food? Good? OK, a couple things. Anna, the dump that will probably work is the one that's middle one-handed. If you do take the two-handed one, that's fine. But she's going to be camping more that way than in the middle. Um, when we get in trouble and we don't know what to do, deep six is always open. Or we can go ahead and go line with everything that we're doing right now. And then remember, this is the outside that will throw down the line. So our middle back is stopped and ready. When you see tip, you're shading over. I would love for them to keep trying to go to zone four. That's a really hard play. You'll make a better play on that next time. Macy, you can get that one next time as well. But just make sure that we're stopped and ready, expecting weird plays. Every time they make a dig, if they can't run the middle, it's still a good play for us, right? The pins are going to have to score at some point, and they're not scoring right now, okay? Seventh year coach, Austin Feiler, 213 wins, state qualifier every year. That guy knows the sport of volleyball inside and out. He does some good commentary there to his team from a variety of angles, telling his defense where to go, saying we're going to let Clear Creek Amana take that shot, make them earn it. We're going to defend everywhere else. Clear Creek Amana coming out of the timeout, gets the point. And now they trail just by six. Some substitutions and to serve for the Clippers will be Kanadi Wood. She's a setter slash DS and a junior standing. Great serve. Saints handle it, though, and get a good attack out of it. Ball close to the net. I wasn't sure if she'd have to dig it out. Wood played it perfect. And now mini run being put together here. Fantastic up by the Clippers' libero, but then even better handle from the setter. 
to find the ball, keep it out of the net, place it high, and then Beck with a hammer, bringing it down there so tight to the net. Beck, a Drake University recruit. Still just a junior, will be back next year for Clear Creek Amana, and the timing of that with Cabolo just off. It can be hard with really high out of system sets to get your feet under the ball, make sure your timing is right. So just a little bit of a miscue there on that swing. She did go down with an injury to close out the uh, 4A semifinal victory yesterday. Did not return for the final points, was not needed. Not sure if she's 100%, but she has been looking pretty good mobile out there in her position. Middle, got that one through. A quick handoff, and look out, Clear Creek Amana, full throttle here, now just trailing by four in this opening set. Really like that middle connection, kind of in that three zone between the middle and the outside, moving the hitter and the blockers around. And you're right, they're sticking around. Oh, they would have loved that to go long, but tip off the block there, so it is a Xavier point. 18-13, the Clipper fans do not like that call. It will stand as Libby Fandel, the serve. Two contacts, the violation. It's like a lift, you can't, you gotta field it cleanly. And the up official has the best view out of everyone in here to see that call. She does. Two hits called by the up official on that. Really good dig by the libero, but Xavier not able to complete it. Down the line for the kill. Xavier now leads 19-14. And the serve coming from their libero. It's Brooklyn Miller, leads the team with 287 digs. Here's Miller. Reaching back, hanging in the air. The vision, the placement, the point. First swing side out for the Clippers. Started with a great pass, good connection behind to the right side. And like you said, vision right in the middle, great spot. Do not have to always smack that volleyball as hard as you can every attempt. It's just like a pitcher. You don't always go with the heat with the fastball. Throw a curve, a change up, splitter. Same with the attack. Xavier off the block. They stay with it or with a roll shot. Clear Creek Amana with the back row swing and that'll drop. Avery Lauer out of nowhere. The 5'10 freshman. Their defense, they just keep picking up balls and now they are finding a rhythm offensively. Good back row attack for the Clippers there to score the point. Here's the pass, the set, block. Gonna try it again. And a violation, two contacts is the call. She's not drilling it with her, her hand. It, it looked more like a, a push throwing the ball down the line. More of a power tip, yep. power roll. You're right, not a full swing, a little bit more control on it, but still with pace, right? Still with pace. Saints get the point there, inching closer and closer to closing out this first set, which they have been in the driver's seat of right from the get-go. They've had control, they've had composure, and we've seen them do it from all areas. Xavier there with the ace. They have great offense, really consistent defense. Now we're seeing some strong and aggressive serves as well. It's a very important part of the game of volleyball. 22-16. Again, that net's waving. The ball clipped off the top of it on the swing. Off the hands of the block. Back row swing. Good attack by Lauer. Saints keep it alive. Bumping it over on the free ball. Great rally here. Attack air, and the Saints win a long battle. 
A long rally there. A number of pursuits off the court, keeping it alive. Ending with that back row attack, and then Xavier following it up with another ace. We've seen that a couple times. There's been some long rallies. Xavier has won the battle in the rally, and then they follow it up with an aggressive ace. And multiple players able to dial up aces for the Saints. And there's another great serve, and Xavier wins the opening set going away. 25-16 the final. They looked good in all phases of the sport, as whether it was serving, whether it was passing, whether it was blocking, a good performance there. Well, the girls' state high school volleyball tournament spent over 50 years in Cedar Rapids before locating this year here in Coralville. We got up with the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union Executive Director Gene Berger, who told us about the bittersweet move to nearby Coralville. Winners. A lot of change for the positive for volleyball we went through in Cedar Rapids. We were there for 52 years. Anytime you're at a venue and in a city that long, it's really about the people, and that's what made it really, really hard. One of the traditions I think that was so good is the student sections. So they were behind their own teams, looking down on the play. 25-16, Dyke New Hartford wins the opening set. The Wallert Golden Eagles. Dubuque Wallert, Tripola had a long run. But there's actually two that are still in the midst of the run, and that's Dyke, New Hartford, and Hull Western Christian. Both of those teams were in the hunt in those 50 years, and they still continue their play at the state tournament. The building in Cedar Rapids was a little dated, and so we decided to go out primarily to see if we could get extra space and some of the technological updates. What I like to call the pink sparkle of uh, a state tournament, what we could do, video boards, lights out, intros, all of those things. <laughs> Extreme Arena is the only arena that we play in that hosts a college team. So the University of Iowa volleyball team plays there. So our girls get to experience uh, a venue that's collegiate. That's something that they look forward to. Live look inside the beautiful Extreme Arena that does have all the bells and whistles and everything of a Division I NCAA facility. They've been great hosts. Beth West, myself, Eric Braley have enjoyed it here. And Beth, let's talk about that first set. Clear Creek Amanda has some work to do. We saw in 5A, the team that lost the opening set ended up winning the match, and they're your 5A champions, Iowa City Liberty. But a lot of work needs to happen on Clear Creek Amanda's side of the net. It does. A slow start for Clear Creek Amanda, but we did see a glimpse in the middle of that set. They strung together a run, so we know they have it in them, putting those pieces together. But I've really been impressed with Xavier so far staying calm and cool. They have experience. They've been in this position before, and they showed it in set one. They look very strong. Taking a look now at some first set highlights happening on both sides of the net. Sometimes you have some jitters when you have a state title on the line. As we look at some of the highlights, some statistics as well. As a team, Xavier hit a sizzling 3-10 as Clear Creek Amana hit just 171. Some individual performances as Catholic had six kills, five for Fandel, and a more balanced attack, but no one over three kills for Clear Creek Amana there. Besides better hitting percentage, you also have to look at service aces, as that was uh, part of the story. A couple of them for Xavier Nunn for Clear Creek Amana blocking not really a big part of that opening set victory for Xavier. So Xavier in the dark navy blue. The lighter royal blue is Clear Creek Amana. They get the first point, and it's 1-0. Clear Creek Amana, and the serve coming from Addison Gislason, the junior outside hitter. 27 aces on the year. Now would be a good time to add another one to it. 
It's handled off the pass. A little give and go action down the line. Sails out to nothing in favor of the eighth ranked team in class 4A. Bear Creek Amana has the team phrase next play. I love that. Great mentality. Having the next play on your mind. Forget the last one, whether it was great, whether it was horrible, doesn't matter. It's over. Focus on the next point. Love that team motto. Don't next spend play. Spend all your time celebrating if you did something well, patting yourself on the back. Because you got to get ready to go. They also have one more. It's do it for each other. This is a team sport, isn't it? It is an ultimate team sport. It takes every single person. You have some sports where, honestly, you can have one star who can go end to end. No one else touches the ball. No one else does anything but volleyball. You need your teammates. And so the motto of do it for each other is so fitting for volleyball. Clear Creek Amana, first trip to state since reaching the 3A semifinals in 2014. Last team state title came in softball for a decade ago in 2011, the school has won the 3A shuttle hurdle relay the past couple of years. Good extension reaching back, Bliss back with the kill. Would love to see the Clippers get Beck involved more and what that takes as Beck is a middle, running primarily in the middle is a good pass, right? And then getting that connection with the setter. And if they can do that, Beck is very lethal with her quick attack. Saints. Smart to let that attack go. Just not clean on the swing. And Clear Creek Amanda builds the lead to three points now. Xavier wanting to stay disciplined like they were in set one. Sharpen, fine tune some skills here. A little let up at the start of set two. A couple of players for Xavier have committed to play volleyball at the next level. Ready defensive plays there by Clear Creek Amana. Saints got it down. The side judge was kind of falling backwards, but he made sure that ball hit in as you look at the replay. Yep, that's him. Yep, good call. Great swing. Saw multiple hitters on the Xavier side getting opportunities in that rally. Block. Doesn't phase Xavier. They attack on the other side of the net. Now bumping it over. Here comes Clear Creek Amana with so many options, and it's deep. No touch called. And the Saints are storming back within one. With these longer rallies, it feels like we've played a lot more points than just five to four here in set two. Just some good defense, which causes long rallies. Nice swing, though, from the Clippers going high off the hands of the blockers, sending it deep outside the boundaries of the court. Sam Scraga, the 5'8 junior middle hitter, has a good hitting percentage when she gets the ball set to her. That one goes out of bounds. And now Xavier puts a couple of points together to pull within one. And now two points in a row for Clear Creek Amana. Still the early stages of this class 4A second set. Blocked down for a point. You didn't see as many of those plays in that opening set for Clear Creek Amana. We did not. They are coming to life here. Their block being active, putting up a double, keeping it in play. Xavier had a few student athletes right there, but unable to cover. And if they're not getting stuff blocks, right there we saw Clear Creek Amana getting good touches and then able to transition that right there, that quick middle attack. Middles are so important, and you see it at the college level, just the timing 
between the setter and the, again the setter getting a good pass how much more challenging is it at the high school level to have those quick hitting plays and involving the middles yeah it really depends on your pass wanting to get a solid pass to your setter so she has options to find her middle and it is it's quick you want to run fast to catch your opponent off guard and running those middles helps spread out your offense too to get one-on-ones for your other players let's listen in to xavier huddle as they trail by six and we need to like get into a spot where we're expecting that that's going to happen and that we also make a counter play as well to it i think our right back and our middle back there both thought the other person was going to pass it just both of you go after it at the end of the day. And I think we can get lined up a little bit better on some of their hitters and get our hands on the ball a little bit quicker right now. But the big thing is we're pressing a little bit instead of understanding we're still serve receiving at a high level, we're still siding out at a high level. It's a good run for them. Bad rotation though, so we can get out of this and keep them here, okay? Here we go. Pointing out the strong points of Xavier's game that they're still doing well, even though they're down and set to reminding his team, hey, we're doing this well, we're doing that well. Continue that, sharpen these few things, go out there, put forth the effort, and go on a little run here. Get ourselves back in set two. Head coach Austin Feiler, seventh year coaching, all at Xavier. 213 wins, state qualifier every year. So the middles have been the storyline for Clear Creek Amana here as they're looking to even up the series at one set apiece. Eric Braley, Beth West on the call for Iowa PBS. We broadcasted the 5A championship where Iowa City Liberty defeated Pleasant Valley in four after dropping the opening set 20 to 25. Iowa City Liberty, one set two, 25-17. Set three, 25-22. And set four, 25-22. Clippers, back off the net. Tip off the block. Back row swing. Great defense. Very disciplined. One armed up. The hustle, the effort was there, but great placement by Xavier on the attack. Good attack by Xavier, but I do love that pursuit and that effort. It shows your team, hey, I am fighting for you. I want to get this ball up. So even though they couldn't continue the play, I love the effort and what that shows your teammates. Effort can be contagious, whether you're leading by four, or if you're trailing. Over pass on the free ball. Tip. Weren't a lot of options with how tight that ball was to the net. This rally's going on over one minute. Who's gonna get the point? It's gonna be Clear Creek to Mana. That was a marathon. It was a marathon. It got a little sloppy in the middle. They were just keeping that ball up, but able to defend. Xavier bringing the swings in the middle. Flipper staying alive, and unfortunately, a hitting error to end that long, long rally. Back to serve will be Emily Henderson, the freshman setter. 436 assists on the year. Sets one. Down for another point. Well, the momentum that was not on the Clear Creek Commander side at all in the opening set, they're now doubling up their opponent, the Saints. They are. Good swing from pitcher on the right side. And then I just love her celebration <laughs> after. So excited, getting her team pumped up. Outside, cross-court swing, really close to the net. Reaching back, head first dive, joust. They won't let it hit the court. There it goes. Relentless effort. 
Just back and forth. That's that scrappy, never let the ball hit the floor style defense that we talked about with these Clippers. They get after it. Xavier, though, hanging tough. Good swing to finish it for the Xavier point. Attack air. Good idea trying to go to that golden corner. But the execution with Annika Ivester, University of Nebraska, Omaha commit. The senior middle hitter. She does a lot of things well. Going to go to her again. Good reach on that. High contact point. Got it through, cooled it off the block. A point for Massey, Macy Codlet, the senior outside hitter. Another one of those power tips, really pushing it through the blocker's hands we see here, just off the side of their arms. 13-8. Service air, a side out, a free point. And Addison Gislason, the junior outside hitter to serve. Cadlick with nine kills. Saints reaching back. Good cross court attack. The set wasn't where she wanted it to be, but she made the most of this as you see the replay here. She did adjust her approach a little bit there, but then still able to get a full swing. Fandel doing a good job for Xavier on the outside. But for the Clippers, Brooklyn Little Barrow, she was, she was standing in there getting quite a few digs in that rally, some really hard driven balls. And that'll translate that, that if she for can keep sure. digging and keeping their offense going. It's going to translate to kills for the Clippers. A service air, and now off the head of the block of Silvana Cabolo. Fandel again for Xavier. We're saying her name a lot. A sophomore outside hitter. Very talented, smart, changing up her swing, going high off the hands, but we've seen her roll shot go line, all the variety of shots she's bringing them. Well, in the opening set, it was Xavier with a pretty significant victory, pretty lopsided actually, 25-16. Xavier hit 310, 14 kills, only one air on 42 attempts, while Clear Creek and Mana had 12 kills, Six hitting airs on 35 attacks, hitting 171. That's just been flipped here in the second set. It has. The Clippers settling down a little bit, continuing their defense, but now being able to put their offense up in full force. Xavier settling down a little bit, though. They're coming back into this point by point. And a lot of it from their offensive side, just getting quality swings really attacking the Clippers block. Another long rally between these two teams. Class 4A title hanging in the balance. Great back row defense has been the case all day long. Roll shot. Thought that might catch him sleeping. But they were prepared. And another point for Clear Creek Amana. That last ball got so tight to the net. Both teams reaching for it. Xavier not able to get it over. But back and forth again. These are long rallies. I feel like a broken record, but there's some, some good defense back and forth here for long rallies. Going right at the block. Gislason was there with Cabolo. But strong approach and contact will clear Creek Amana. School record 34 wins. So no matter what happens, this has been a historic year for that program. That's a unique community how 
They're now 4A. I mean, not long ago, they were 3A. They're, that, the community is growing. And with that, there's more student athletes. There's more girls going out for the sport of volleyball. And, and uh, fun to see how they have embraced that growth. Exactly. Now back, or now in the state finals, back at state in a larger class and doing just fantastic things here in set two, putting themselves in a position now late in set two to push to finish. Seven points to 25, that's still a long way to go. I know Xavier believes they can fight back in it, but the Clippers sitting very well. I like that, push to finish. In a good spot. You say push because it takes effort, right? Mm -hmm. It just it won't Coast. come to you. Get yeah, there's no the coasting finish. to finish. You gotta push to the finish. Carla Yonker, the 5'11 sophomore outside hitter, is serving. You see her teammates looking on. Yes, Xavier. Wow, just the history and tradition of volleyball with that school. So many appearances at state, so many state titles. Violation against Xavier. And now it's 19-14. Xavier winning 3-0 in the quarters, in the semis, even 3-0 in the regional final. They beat Dallas Center Grimes. A shout out to DCG, my <laughs> home school from back in the day. But Xavier handling DCG regional final 3-0 and then 3-0 in their their matches here so playing well Saints big celebration after that play Ivester she is a special player she can be a difference maker now it's 1915 down but not out have to make a run there's another point service ace Point by point, an ace always helps when you're going on a run. <laughs> they trail by three. Let's see what Clear Creek Amana has to say as they push to tie up this series. We get to dig the middle back. You have to get there faster. We also have to have a double block in the middle from you. Silvana, where are you at? Same thing. We have to have a double block. You have to go hop step to left, hop step to right. Setters, same thing, keep the ball off the net. What is our set play when we go back out? What are we doing? Switch. Avery, you want me She's coming at Yes. Okay. She's coming at Ave. Hey, get your defense low so that you can get that good pass up to her, okay? I'll get you guys a pass. Let's go. You got this. Know your set play. Remember, if it's regroup. Shift, it's regroup. Hey. Smiles. Smiles. Relax. Smiles. Let's go. Body language, nonverbal, that's important as well. This should be fun. I'm having fun. Absolutely. We are having fun. It's the state championships here for 4A. Coach telling them to smile, to relax, regroup, and respond here to try to finish this set out. She mentioned, hey, we got to get double blocks up on that middle. Slow down their middles. Both head coaches looking on. Another service ace back to back. Aces, that's exactly what Xavier needed to do here. Macy Codlet. She had 39 aces during the regular season. The seniors looking for another. It's not a great pass. In system, Xavier pushing it down the line. Wow, not an easy play there. Well off the net. Pulled that one out and got the side out they needed. Good response from the Clippers, pushing it outside in that deep cross court swing. Addison for the Clippers. Then a solid bright spot for Clear Creek Mana on the outside. Yeah, Gislason with six kills now. Keeping the ball off the court, but it does not go over in three. Four contacts, the call. And now it's 2018. And behind the line is Annika Ivester. Yeah. 
Second time's the charm. First one was denied. Brought it something a little different on the second approach for the kill. Here's the replay. The freshman, 180 kills, 266 digs. The Clippers are young, but they are resilient, and they're going to battle and fight here trying to get set two. Two contacts, unforced air there, and two points separating these two schools. As you see Coach Filer looking on. Pass real close to the net. Not many options there for Wood, the setter. Could have tried to pull it back to her side, but tipped it over. Very tight pass, you're right. Just unable to keep it on their side. There's a good pass. Here's a good set. Big swing. Down to the point. Biss back. Number one on the team in kills. That's a big one. Staying active, Beck there. A tight ball close to the net. She just puts it straight down. The libero, Meg Berklin wants to serve out here. That's a doozy. That's a good one. Well, we've talked about the Saints aggressive serving. Timeout. Xavier trailing by three, backs against the wall. Let's listen into their huddle and head coach Austin Filer. Good. Hear me. We can do it this set still. She's in the back row. We have tremendous advantage there. You can get five before they get two. 100% you can do that right now. Okay? But I need you to get really focused on lining up in the right spots and working as hard as you can for a short period of time, okay? One point at a time, all tournament long, you have gotten five before somebody else got two. This is no different right now. But you have to go right now and you have to work. We control a 1-0 lead, the pressure's not on us, but we could get a 2-0 lead right now if we just keep working. One point at a time, high pass in the middle of the court, run our offense when we can, okay? Got it. Six on three. One, two, three, six. Very calm, laying out the path that Xavier needs to finish this. We get five before they get two. Simple, right? Simple. <laughs> now make when it happen. When you put it in perspective like that. Right. And a lot of times teams and student athletes feed off the emotions of their coaches. Yes. A high strong coach that's maybe nervous. Uh, that goes and translates out to his team. But hey, be calm. What's the worst that happens? We're tied one to one. That's not that bad. Uh oh. Saints get the play to pull within two. And potentially more importantly, now they have the serve with Libby Fandel back there. Very important because they do have such quality servers. Look at that ball. It sails over the net with top spin. Clear Creek of Mana. Here are the Saints. Got it down. Two points in a row off that timeout. The fans trying to do what they can to help. To so the final timeout, I believe, being called for either team. And let's listen into the huddle. Hey, pull all back in the middle. Yes, that's fine. Meg, go back in the middle, but go back. On serve receive pass right now, we're going to go back to Avery, and Avery's going to swing away this time instead hey, of doing the tail. Hey, I told Avery to change her shot, so now you can swing away. And then if you can go, at, go to the right front. That's where 10 and the setter are. Swing away. Yes. Hey, we got it. Yes. Slide line shot. Two off of hands. Hey, hey nothing again. Or, or what else can we throw? I don't know. <laughs> hey, on. stay positive. Stay positive. Next play. Here we go. Jackie Club trying to drop something. No, and Sam, she wants to be on the attack. 
on the attack. She's saying swing away. She's giving her team the green light to get after it, go after the block, be aggressive, swing away. And she mentioned first ball swing. She wants that side out right away. No back and forth, no long rally. Let's get that first swing side out, and then we serve for the set. It all starts with the pass, though, off the serve. It's a good one. It's what they wanted. That the defense was there in the back row for Xavier. Great return. It's out. It's a game of inches. No one was anywhere near that volleyball, but it sails just a touch too deep and out of bounds. Set point for Clear Creek Amana. There it is. We are tied. First set goes to Xavier. Second set goes to Clear Creek Amana. We are having a party. Lots of fun from the Extreme Arena as the 4A Championship match carries on. What a fun atmosphere. On American Experience. The hostages are in our hands. 444 days that transfixed the world. This was the first American foreign policy crisis televised live from start to stop. It was like being a reporter with a camera crew at the French Revolution. I said to myself, why am I a prisoner? Why me? Taken hostage on American Experience. Coming to Iowa PBS November 14th. They fought on the battlefield for a country that treated them as second-class citizens. They came home and fought for the right to be treated equally. This is the story of three generations of Iowans who exemplified the meaning of tradition and valor. And the story continues with new insights from the film's creator, the late Robert Morris. Tradition and valor, and tradition and valor, the story continues. Tune in or stream Monday at 9 p.m. See more of Iowa PBS online. Follow Iowa PBS on Instagram. Connect with us on all our social networks at iowapbs.org slash social. Missing from this year's championship day is IGHSAU's Lisa Brinkmeyer, who's been battling brain cancer since April. Lisa's worked tirelessly on behalf of the union and was instrumental in the move to Coralville in the new venue. Here is what Gene Berger had to say about Lisa. Lisa Brinkmeyer has been with uh, the girls' union almost two decades, and she was an Iowa girl. Uh, she played basketball uh, and volleyball, and she actually is a two-time Hall of Famer for us in both of those sports. She played collegiately for Drake, and she actually um, played in the last six-on-six -six basketball championship that the girls' union offered. So she's famous in a lot of ways, but she is a, a great ambassador of the Iowa girl. And As Lisa continues her fight, many continue to reach out, ask how they might help, and they have set up a fund where donations can be sent. Uh, our heart goes out to Lisa and her family as they battle this. Well, let's take a look at the statistics there. And as you can see, Xavier has been very aggressive on the offensive side as they lead in the kill category. But what did Clear Creek Amanda do well in that second set? Because they pretty much led from the start all the way to the very end in set two, Beth. They never gave up. The Clippers came out with excitement and purpose in set two. They knew they wanted to challenge the Saints. And the challenge, they absolutely did. They took it to them in set two. Xavier, though, they fought back throughout the entire set, had a chance at the end. It was right there. Right there. But the Clippers able to put it away. And now we're all tied up here in the 4A title game. The 5A championship went four. This one is going at least four. First point of the third set, just like we saw in the first set. And the second set goes to Clear Creek Amana. Bliss back reaches over the Drake University commit. Gets the kill. Going high, elevating over 
her opponents over the net there. She's got some height to her. Well, that'll work. Trying to keep that momentum pushing to try and take the lead in the series of CCA. Good pass. Here's the set. And that play, you could just tell everything was hitting on all cylinders and getting the first point of this third set for Xavier on that play. Quality pass, setting up the middle. Ivester able to power through the block for Xavier. One, two, three, they got it done there on that play. Big swing, again, she's not <laughs> Not exactly how you draw it up, but she made the most out of that opportunity for the kill. Xavier able to find their middle even when their setter is off the net. That's a great thing for a team to do. It's not going to be a perfect pass. It might not be a perfect set, but still utilizing your middle, even if it's a little slower pace, makes it difficult for your opponent to defend. I know Annika Ivester has just committed herself from a young age to the sport of volleyball. Getting up at 6 a.m. in middle school and just working on her game. It's great to have the size of six foot four inches, but you still got to work at it and playing that ever important middle position where you got to be versatile. That's great dedication. A lot of practice, a lot of reps. And now in another state title game. I know they were here last year, so lots of experience there. Xavier in the dark navy blue, Clear Creek Amana wearing that brighter light blue. And you don't see that happen. Service air, service air. It's free points and free side outs for the opponents. Just swap serves, you're right. We've got a lot of blue in here. The officials are wearing blue. All different shades. Pretty much of two blue. colors are dominating the, the scene here. Blue the, and pink. The pink. Everywhere. Which credit to Jean Berger, we've shown you a couple of pieces where she was interviewed and after taking over for the head of the union, really leaned into the branding. You know, what are we? And talking about the Iowa girl and talking about the color pink and making it an event. I mean, they're literally setting off pyrotechnics and smoke yes. and all that. When the teams run out, it's not just ho hum, here's the state volleyball championship. It's next level. High level championship with all of the excitement to go along with the quality play. That's always been a part of Iowa volleyball, right? Iowa volleyball is high level. It is. And now, and it's been like this for a few years, it's a high level championship with all sorts of excitement as well. Nice attack, Bliss Beck having herself a day. Beck now with seven kills. She comes in with a very high hitting percentage. So just like a batting average in baseball or softball, she's up to 418. And that's cumulative for the, en for the entire, entire season. It's not just though she's having one really good match, it's cumulative, she's hitting over 400. Saints get that point. And the seesaw battle back and forth. <laughs> Love this smile. Hey, she practices what she preaches. Jackie Club at the end of each time timeout says smile, smile. And you saw that shot on the sideline as she smiles. Yeah. Encouraging her team. Trying to lift them up as she knows this. In order to win this title, they have to go through the number one team in the state in Xavier. An unorthodox play there, but somehow, a little confusion, it drops to the court. Seemed to be a couple miss hits on both sides, but the defense able to pick it up and continue. And then for Xavier, just adjusting that approach, Macy doing a good job, and then using the hands of the blockers to get herself and Xavier a kill. Back set, down. 
Again, you have to play what the opponent gives you. And a good little quick handoff, look behind her. And down for the kill as she attacks number 17, Ivester. I've been impressed on the Clippers side. They have two setters here running that 6-2, Henderson and Wood. Both of them doing a really good job with tight to the net balls coming from their defense. They're getting those balls out of the net. They're able to still set their hitters. They're playing good defense, both of them. To have one amazing setter is, you know, hey, we'll take it. To have two like Henderson and Wood for the Clippers, just really impressed. It's good to have depth at every position, but players that can be on the court were called upon. Great effort to return that ball to the Saints side of the net. <laughs> I'm going to start get my stopwatch out here. I swear we have some of these rallies that are in the three or four minute range before we decide who gets the point. Deadlocked at seven all here in the third. That point goes to the team celebrating Clear Creek Amana. Taking it over onto catching Xavier off guard, right? You just assume they're going to set it up. Bump set spike, three hits. Nope. Libero steps in. I'm just going to pass it right over onto. <laughs> and it's going to go down as a kill in the stat book for the Libero, right? Yep. So kills on the season heading in to the tournament, which is 98 sets. She had 11 total kills out of 98 sets. It's so she's done this before. <laughs> she, she pulls that I love it. ace out of her back pocket when she needs to. It's the element of surprise. That's great. Tip, down, point, CCA. Again, as a hitter, having that vision to know what are the blockers giving me and what is that defense behind the blockers? Where are they set up on the court? Seeing that for the Clippers and saying, hey, the donut, the wide open campfire in the middle, I'm tipping right there. Anytime you see that donut, trying to just get the ball there as quick as possible before the team can recover defensively. I'll hit the net. We play on. Off the block, and it's down for a point. Saints lead it. Nope, now it's nine to nine. As the Saints, seventh straight trip to state. So consistent, seven straight years. Very impressive as a program. Just graduate, and it's not rebuild, it's reload year after year with Xavier. Filer, head coach, making sure his team's on the same page, leading by one. No returning that one back. Straight down the line, a strong swing going around those blockers. Normally we see Beck from the middle, yep. but hey, take her on the outside. She can get it done there too. I mean, if I'm the setter, I'm, I'm wondering where is number six at? And if she is in the front row, no matter where, try and get her involved. There she goes again. Get her involved is right. Keep her active. Getting a good pass from her backcourt. Again, those setters, very talented. Henderson finding back. Giving her options to swing around that Xavier block, who is not small, right? No. That's, that's a tough block that Xavier's putting up. Well, Beck, through two sets, only had 13 attempts, while her teammate uh, Gillison had 19 and 24 for Lauer, so. Who are the outside hitters yeah. there, Addison and then Lauer. And when your passing is struggling yeah. as a team, sometimes you're throwing up those sets to the outside hitters, those out of system balls more often. So I think that stat line shows and proves that. Block down for the point. Every time Xavier Get something going. Clear Creek Command is there to make the play. Good setup by the Clippers. Block there, doubling on Fandel on the outside. A little tighter set. 
Maybe keeping that off, giving Fandel more space to work with, because she can absolutely work around the block or work through it. Here's the serve. We're waiting as the top official is talking. I think just making sure a media member, nope, making sure we clean up some sweat. So at the end of the 5A match, we had a lot of stoppages in play. I'm going to pull up the weather right now. Let's see what it is doing right now in Coralville, Iowa. I haven't been outside since 8 a.m. It's 72. Beautiful. And sunny. Playing on a, there's ice underneath here. Plus, it's a warm day. There's lots of people in here. So anytime a, a student athlete hits the, the court, we might need to clean up some perspiration. I've been doing these state championships for quite a while now. Not too many years we've been in the 70s when it's championship day. Not many. That's right. Not, we not will many take days this. we've been in the 50s True. on championship day. True. We will take this weather. I love it. We could have this all the way to Christmas, into January. Ooh, I should put up Christmas lights while it's nice. There Good you call. go. Good call. Put that on your to-do list. <laughs> Nice shallow serve. Xavier was there, though, to get a decent pass out of it. We're going to have to do a back row attack. Wow. Vester and the Saints just keep throwing a lot of stuff at CCA, but they're, wow. they're ready. They're disciplined. Very disciplined. That was a fantastic attack by Fandel on the outside for Xavier. Clear Creek Amana. Berkland, the libero, dug it right up. Got to have some special qualities if you want to put on that different colored uniform to be a libero. That's a really good point. As a libero, you are the backbone of the defense. You're the leader in that backcourt. And so it does take a special type of person who's also willing to just dive around <laughs> and go after every ball. Such a fun position for volleyball. Let's listen inside the Xavier Saints huddle ball, right now. That we're just hoping that they fall off right now. Middles, I'm asking you every single time that you have to swing on the ball, okay? Is there a time you're gonna tip? Yes. But what's happening is you're tipping every ball and then they're just moving forward and picking that up, which puts more pressure on the outsides right now. I need you to change that demeanor that you have on the court and listen to what I'm saying and do those things. Those are the things that are gonna put you successful. It's not gonna always be that everything is 3-0. We have to fight for this a little bit, but we're hanging our heads far too much and it's hurting us right now, okay? Get together, enjoy when you score, and get focused when they have the ball. But you have to take a little bit more of a swing. Even if it's not a full swing, you can't just keep tipping every single ball right now. We're getting too many hard balls back instead of free balls or down balls, okay? Let's go. Got it. One, two, three, six. Encouraging his Xavier team to be aggressive, which we know they can be with the talented hitters that they have talking about oh, how their tips have allowed the Clippers to transition right into a good offense, right? They're picking up those tips, transitioning them into offense. And so Xavier, Austin Filer saying, hey, let's swing away, be aggressive, pick up your heads, we got this. It is challenging though, as Xavier, as you mentioned, their road to the state championship match, if they're just getting the brooms out, sweep, sweep, you know, they're not right. necessarily been in the position down 15-12 in the third set. And, and then you have the Clippers who've played five-set matches each time. They're like, oh, we'll be here all day. We'll keep playing. <laughs> so you're right. There is a little bit of just that attitude and kind of the expectations. So Beth, as a former Division I all-conference performer, like what do you do as coaches to try and put teams in stressful situations in practice where, hey, this, this we might be in the spot in a match yes. when it actually matters. Yes, it reminds me of what Coach Filer was saying when he was saying, hey, this is a game to five. We get to five before they get to two. A lot of those practice drills where it's literally a game to three. You win, you don't have sprints. Yep. You lose, you have sprints or, you know, some sort of, you know, um, motivation motivation to win those short, tight battles, putting you in pressure situations. You can 
do that to some extent in practice, but honestly, match and competition is where you really fine tune those skills, because that's when the pressure is the yep. strongest. Well, I think we'll see, especially with the 1A, 2A, 3A matches that are to come, looking at some of those smaller schools that on the weekend say, yeah, let's play a tournament yeah, against some 5A, 4A competition. We might not win, but at least we're battle tested when we go play down at our level in, in our respective classes. Yes, plain, strong schools, whatever class it might be, right? Scheduling tough, just like you said, to put yourself in a position to practice that pressure. Because when it comes to the end of October and now at the beginning of November when it really counts, you can draw back on those experiences. It's firsthand. You know you've done it. Well, look at how his team responded. Wow. We're tied. Yep. <laughs> and now Clear Creek Amanda takes a timeout. So let's listen to Jackie Club in her ninth year leading the Clippers. Deep breath. Have you drank any water? Get some water in. Yep. And you're a little early. It's a little bit higher set, so we got a little bit early. What's the set play call when we go back out? Okay. We can't, we can't play scared. Mm -hmm. We gotta make sure that we're playing our we're just playing our game, right? Should just I, one pass right away. Start your back. Your Sam, go out. Sam. Sam can go out. And then this, I need I need you to draw the block and make a scene. No. I need you to make a scene in for the two so Sam can get the kill. Hey, do you have smiles? Are you breathing? Let's go. Come on. Move your block. Not let them all drop. Now, mainly that was, I think, catch your breath and, okay, let's get together and, and, and focus here. Regroup, calm down, always reminding them to keep smiling. And then I like, she always asks, what's our play coming out of this timeout? What's our play? Everyone knows the play, and then based on the pass, running whatever set works. Each team has one timeout remaining. We're over the halfway point of this third set. Xavier won. The first set, 25-16. Clear Creek Amana won the second set, 25-22. Two contacts, the call. Side out and substitutions coming in for Clear Creek Amana here, including the server is Emily Henderson is the freshman. One of the talented setters for this Clippers team, Henderson, just a freshman, wow. Back row swing, ball tipped through the block. Not sure how the ball got through, but Xavier finds a way. Staying active at the net, it's so important when that ball is tight, when it's a 50-50 ball, anyone can get it. Just being aggressive there. And you're right, I'm not sure how it got <laughs> through the block, but Xavier's gonna take it. Ivesta really controlling the net. What do you think about Libby Fandel, though? She is a sophomore leading the team in kills, leading the team in aces, averaging 3.77. She's just been kind of steady Eddie out there. Steady Eddie is right. Six rotation player for Xavier, finding ways to make her team better from the backcourt with gritty defense and back row attacks. And then you notice her presence in the front row when she is front row, number 13 there for Xavier. She gets her kills, great attack. So just a consistent player for the Saints. Ball does not go over the net as Strega went to send it over for contacts. Xavier, hey, not too long ago, they were down three or four and now they're up three. Let's listen in to the final timeout of this set for Clear Sam, Creek Amana. The pass has pulled us off the net, but we need to get the ball in on attack. What's the set play call? Is Sam staying? Sam can stay right side. Gis go out. Ash draw the block in the middle. Hey, if we go at if we go at right the side, outside, just on surface C. Just on surface C. And she's just standing and powering over her because she's six seven. Understand? Make sure you get up, jump with her, and put the ball has to be pressed back over, not so it doesn't fall in front. That's a big offense. You have to block the middle. Let's go. There we go. Critical time late in set three. 
tied 1-1. We talked about in the 5A title game how it's such a boost to go up 2-1. to one Big boost. In a match. And so I know both programs really want set three here. Roll shot. Saints. Big swing. Back row attack. Termination. Point Saints. They lead by four, and they're four points away from winning this third set. Saints have been swinging. We heard Coach Filer a few timeouts ago talk about, hey, let's lessen the tips, get those swings going, and they are responding. Xavier is swinging away. Good coverage. Back row swing. It's, it's hard to know where the ball's going to go when they're hitting that far off the net, but the timing was spot on for Scraga. Love the net cam. Huge shout out to our team of Iowa PBS. Tons of people inside the truck, control room, camera operators, audio, everything. And a programming note, if you want to watch the 5A championship match, in its entirety. Hey, tune in at 9 o'clock tonight. 9 o'clock tonight, you'll watch the 5A championship match in which Iowa City Liberty defeated Pleasant Valley in four. And we're just getting started after this 4A matchup. We have 3A, 2A, and 1A. Two contacts is the violation from the official. And two points separate these two teams after the side out in Scraga. Nice serve. Saints. Blocked, but it goes out of bounds. Heads up play by Macy Kodlek, the senior outside hitter. Just pushed it into the block. Last touch by Clear Creek Amana. Here's the replay. Mixing up her shots. Good coverage from Xavier, keeping that ball alive. After the Clippers block had a great touch on it. And Macy, yeah, mixing it up. But the Clippers able to respond. They just will not go away. They won't. Well, think about what we saw in the second set. Clear Creek Amana won it, but it was 25-22. Went right down to the finish line. Addison Gislason, 27 aces on the year. Got it through. Found a way. The ball made it through the brick wall block. Through the brick wall is right. Clippers with a strong swing. Clippers running kind of a setter up defense. And so they're able to pick up a lot of those touches that their block is getting. Xavier's getting through theirs and now transitioning, getting that kill. Over the block, dangerous play and Saints now make it 23-21. There you see. Not much the Beck could do. Center dump. No one in the arena expecting that one. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting that. Wow. Perfect timing. The right opportunity. Way to execute that. She heads to the bench. All those high fives. Great what a job. Play. <laughs> the freshman setter. No surprise there. That's just great execution. 23, 23, first to two. You have to win by two, so it's not like you can squeak out a win 25, 24. Out of bounds, no! He grabbed the sideline! Wow, what a shot! Who else but Fandel? We have been so impressed with her 
swings from the outside. And then a service ace wow. on set point. They dug deep and found a way in this back and forth seesaw battle. Xavier wins the first. Clear Creek Amana wins the second, and Xavier wins the third by a score of 25-23 as we head to the fourth set in this Class 4A championship. Back right after this with that fourth match in this exciting, exciting environment. Wednesday night on PBS, starting with a new episode of Nature. The ocelot, they're rare. And in my opinion, they are the most beautiful cat species. Followed by a new episode of Nova. This is one of the most significant technologies to have been created by someone who is still wholly anonymous. A new episode of Nature, followed by a new episode of Nova. Tune in or stream Wednesday at 7 p.m. Jack Taylor was one of 16 million Americans who joined the service to fight for his country. We all wanted to be a fighter pilot. I think everybody wants to be a fighter pilot. And I think the Navy helped really define him. The Japanese planes, if you hit them, they just flamed. I think it was routine and responsibilities, and he learned all that in the Navy. The business just succeeded. Well, I never envisioned that it would get to the size that it did now. Tune in or stream Sunday at 2 p.m. Your favorite member benefit is getting better and bigger. Over the next year, Passport is adding new shows and doubling the number of episodes. Stream on any device with Passport on the PBS Video app. Xavier squeaks out a win. 25-23 over Clear Creek of Mana in the third set. Xavier needs to win just one more set and they are class 4A champion, but something tells me Clear Creek and Mana, they're, they're down, but they're not, they're not out of it right now. They are not out. Clear Creek and Mana is fighting so hard point for point. Their last two matches have been five setters, so they're, they're not done yet, but Xavier in really good position, up two to one, playing well, and they're just composed as a team. They don't get rattled. They have a lot of options, and so they're looking pretty good right now. So let's look at some of those highlights from the last set and how Xavier was able to pull away. These are your set three highlights. A lot of variety in the attacks from Xavier. We saw in the middle of the set quite a few tips. We saw them then transition to be more aggressive with swings and roll shots, finding open spots on the court. So just a lot of variety in the attacks from both teams. So more blocking for Clear Creek of Mana. They win that category, but more offense and kills for Xavier. And Look through, at that serving too. Yes, serving is so important from a hitting perspective through three sets. Both teams are hitting 207. The same exact no hitting way. percentage that through three happen. sets. That doesn't happen ever. All right, so Xavier serves first in the dark navy blue. And the bright royal blue is Clear Creek of Mana. A reminder that coming up after this, we'll have a short intermission, and then it's the Class 3A championship as number two Davenport Assumption, 32 and seven overall, will take on Sioux Center. They're the four seed at 32 and three. That's scheduled to start around 2.30, depending on the end of this match. And then at 2A, we have number one Dyke New Hartford, who's 44 and two. Some of the media saying they might be the best team in the state of any class. They've beaten a lot of 5A, 4A, 3A schools. They'll take on Western Christian, the number two seed, who's 42 and five. And it can't be a state tournament without Dyke New Hartford and Western Christian battling for a title. And then uh, we'll have the 1A championship. That's start, scheduled to start around seven o'clock tonight. And then a reminder at nine o'clock, we'll have the 5A match 
again where Liberty of Iowa City Liberty defeated Pleasant Valley. So full day, a full slate of high school volleyball championships coming to you from Coralville in the Extreme Arena. Out of system play there, Xavier able to make good on it with that high, high set from the back court. Roll shot there though. Fandel handling it very smoothly for the kill. Got it right through the block. Clear Creek Amana had Cabolo and Beck in prime position, but it didn't matter. Prime position, strong arms pressing over the block. Didn't matter. Fandel powers through. Won't let the ball hit the court. Great effort. And I think if Clear Creek Amana could have come with a good attack there, it would have caught Xavier out of system. But instead, the tip, and now a good swing, but it goes out of bounds. The Clippers defense tracking that ball all the way to the line. It was pretty close. Just deep for Xavier. Some individual stats for Xavier. Macy Kodlik has been tremendous here in this match for Xavier. She has 18 kills off 48 attacks, hitting 271. And 16 kills for Fandel, hitting 244. 10 for Ivester. And for Clear Creek Amana, only one player in double digits. That's Bliss with 11 kills. Obviously, there's many other categories like digs and assists and other things. Every student athlete doing their part to help their school win a state title. Relatively easy play there in the front row for Turner. A little bit of a scramble, disjointed on the Clippers side. They had two student athletes run into each other there, and fortunately, Xavier at the net, ready to put it away. And again, following it up with an ace. We've, we've mentioned that a few times where there's some deciding points in the sets where they finish a long rally, and then they back it up with an ace. What do they do here? Perfect pass. pass. Yes. That ball, the connection on that was so good, it fell down the net. I couldn't even tell which side of the net it was on. It results in a side out and a kill. Six to four, Xavier. If they win this one set, they are your class 4A champions. Clear Creek Amanda has to win set four, force the fifth set, and then win that shortened sprint to 15th fifth set. Great job on the replays from our crew here as Brooklyn Miller, the libero, grabs the volleyball. Miller has been nearly flawless here. She's the senior libero, wears the number four for the Saints. Over 300 digs and a great performance. Timeout on the court, eight to four. Let's listen in to Jackie Club in the Clear Creek Amana huddle. When they are out of system, the ball is really high. We're early, and where are they sending it to our side of the floor? They're sending it to the six. When they're out of system, she's not you're pushed too far over. Go to the six. Do you Why understand? Right now, right now, they haven't gone line very much. We've been blocking it to just modified line. Modified line. Yes. yes. No, Avery can do that if we're going to go modified. Yeah, stay left at this time. Hey, what's the set play call when we go back out? Okay, same thing that I said before. Are you taking a breath? Take a breath in between. Regroup. We've been here before. Let's go. Let's go. We're not out of it. We're not out of it. Let's go. You got it. You got it. Stay up on serve receive. Stay up on serve receive. Reminding her team we've been here before. We've battled back. We are tested. We can go five. But first, it starts with the play they call. It starts with a pass. She's telling them stay up on serve receive. They got to get set four here. Must win for Clear Creek Amana. 
There's a, another nice play from Miller. Out of bounds on the attack there, the side out that they needed. Well, looking at the schedule, the overall body of work, the very first match of the year for Clear Creek Amana, August 25th. Loss. That same day against Mount Vernon, they played Solon. Loss. But two days later, they played West Liberty. Loss. These heard 0-3, Beth. And then to think how they have not let that define them. They had a couple other losses against Ankeny, Des Moines Christian, Norwalk, Bondurant, Farr, North Scott, and Marion. They defeated West Delaware, who is an outstanding program. And then here in Coralville, they defeated a quality number three Marion team and a quality number two North Scott team. But that's perseverance. When you start 0-3 and, and think, and then in November, we'll be playing for a state title. Right. Just the perspective that it gives you now being able to look back over the entire season. But that early 0-3 start, you're right. They're probably like, uh-oh. <laughs> Didn't they imagine it this, this way. Year. Yeah. yeah. But they kept at it, kept going, persevered. And again, playing their best volleyball at the end of the year right now. Let's listen inside the Xavier huddle as they sprint out to the six point lead here in the fourth. All right, Mike might have been switched off, but regardless, you can just read the body language. Xavier's doing everything right. Everything. They're checking all the boxes here in this fourth set. Out to a strong start. Good margin here in set four for Xavier. Doing it in all aspects of the game. Tough serving, quality passes, really running their offense well. The setter for Xavier doing a good job distributing. She's got options. She's using those options. Saints, so many great players, but Kodlek, Miller, Yonker, Shoger, Fandel, Ivester, Turner, really helping lead the way here in this championship match. Great ups on both sides of the court here defensively. Another long rally in this Class 4A showdown. That one is in. Really took it to the sideline and brought the power. Ivester ending the long rally, coming back across her body, turning it back into the court there. Quality swing from the middle, and again, a good connection. Clear Creek Amana, again, a school record 34 wins as they are representing the Wabak Conference where they went 5-0 on the West Division. Top-ranked Xavier in the Mississippi Division. They actually finished second place going 5-1. And, and the Mississippi Valley Conference always very well represented here at the state tournament. Ball sails deep. And if you are Clear Creek of Mana, you've used both timeouts. And right now, it's it's kind of up to the, the team. You do have some upperclassmen there, but it is a, a young team. A younger team on the whole, you're right. So helping each other, the six who are on the court to stay focused, to get back in this set to thrive off of each other. We see that energy there on the kill. And then the bench too, they play such a big role. The student athletes coming in, making the substitutions, but bringing that energy from the bench is so huge as well. Wonderful and, crowd in attendance trying to help out too. I was just gonna say that. We're thinking the same thing, <laughs> wonderful crowd. We're at the Iowa River Landing in Coralville, Iowa. It's a beautiful day in the 70s here, but we could walk from our hotel. There's restaurants with outdoor seating. They're playing our broadcast outside. And it just you see a lot of the school spirit, the signage. 
Nothing can beat the, the pride that is high school sports playing for a school, playing for a community, trying to bring home. And both these teams are bringing home trophies, whether it is the state championship trophy or the state runner-up trophy. Uh, but I just, just love sports and, and what it does. And I know clearly it means a lot to you, and, and it's helped your trajectory of being a student athlete and an Iowa girl, Beth. Absolutely. As I mentioned before, played volleyball and a number of other sports at Dallas Center Grimes and then continued on playing volleyball division one at the University of Northern Iowa. But just the skills and the intangibles that sports, whether it's volleyball or other can teach you is incredible from a life lesson perspective, the teamwork, the resiliency, the term determination, really being disciplined, all of these things that you're gonna need in your personal life, your professional life, wherever you go, sports can teach you that. Well, sports aren't easy. No. And neither's life. No, <laughs> so exactly. If you can figure out teamwork can down, and discipline yep. and time management at an early age, that will pay dividends. 17-7, running away with a large lead now is number 17 serving Ivester. Gotta chip away at this thing if you're Clear Creek Amana. Again, we've seen them come back from large deficits throughout the year, but they're playing the number one team in the state. Kanadi Wood. Into the net. And just, you really have little room for air when you're playing the number one team in the state. Large margin right now for Xavier. Clippers wanting to make a move soon, running out of time here. We know they can do it. It's just, will they have it? enough points? Will there be enough time for them to make a comeback? Or will Xavier continue to be strong in so many categories and really just finish this the number one ranked team that they are? 19 to 8 now. Set one went to Xavier 25-16. Set two went to Clear Creek Amana 25-22. Set three with Xavier, 25-23. And the talented libero, Meg Berklin, to serve. Leads the team in aces and digs with 418 and 4.27 per set, the junior. Blocked down for a point. There's two in a row. Two in a row. You got to start somewhere. Putting up that double block on the tight set to the net. Pressing over, making sure that Xavier isn't able to power it through on that one. Good job from the Clippers. Missed timing on the connection. Two timeouts in his back pocket. Does not elect to call one yet, but it is a 3-0 run for Clear Creek Amana. job by the officials here in the 5A and 4A match as many people trying to do everything they can to make this championship special. Side out on the big swing and the kill by Fandel, the sophomore. 20 kills. I'm not going to say it's a quiet 20, but she's just been so consistent. So consistent. There's a kill for Codlin, the senior. And now back to a double-digit advantage, needing four more points here in the fourth. This is how Coach Filer wanted his Xavier Saints to respond. You said the Clippers went on a three-point run. He didn't call a timeout. He knew they could settle down. This is how he wanted them to respond. Had a free opportunity there. Clear Creek Amanda didn't get necessarily the swing they wanted. And the Saints are celebrating up 22 to 11. Well, Coach Austin Filer has been there seven years, and he's made it to state each and every year. You saw Coach Jackie Club, her ninth year of coaching, all nine years at Clear Creek Amana, has 230 career wins. 
To say these programs are in good hands moving forward is an understatement. Oh, that may be two contacts. The officials let him play on. The ball doesn't lie. They get the point anyway. They get the point anyway is right. Sometimes those close to the net back and forth can be a little iffy, but we trust our officials doing a fantastic job all week, and especially today on Championship Thursday. It's an honor for them to do it. it, it it's is. not like they say, okay, who are all the officials? Let's pull their names out of the hat. Right, that is not how it works, <laughs> no. They so, earn their spot here just like the teams do. They get critiqued over the course of their body of work during the regular season. And it's a definite honor after talking to them to be able to officiate the championships. 23-12 now. Again, balanced attack for Xavier has been the storyline. As Brooklyn Miller, the libero, the anchor of that defense, wanting to serve out. She needs two. Blocked, but it won't go down for a point. One-handed save. Popped it right up. Won't go down. We play on, and another long rally. Tip. Saints will have options. Ivester gets it. And that brings up match point. Oh, they got to work for these points, don't they? They are working hard. There are so many things that we could point out in such a long rally. Great defense. And again, Xavier putting it away to finish. One point. 24 to 12. Match point for the Saints. the block and down to the court. Xavier is your class 4A champion as the number one team seals the deal here in 2022. What a gritsy, gritty, gutsy performance by Clear Creek Amana, the Cinderella, the number 18, just to get to state, and then to knock off the number two and the number three team. And then for the Saints, it looked a little hairy there at midway through the third set, but they dug deep. They hadn't been challenged as they had swept everyone else, and they played the dominant volleyball that, that we had seen in the quarterfinals and semifinals. The Clippers came out fighting. They applied so much pressure to Xavier, but credit to the Saints. They responded, they fought back, they adjusted, and overall they just kept their composure to be able to finish and win this 4A championship. 22 kills for Xavier's Kodlek. Here's the winning point. Off the block and down for the point. 22 kills for Macy, 21 for Fandel, 14 for Ivester. Is 53 assists for Sugar. Outstanding effort. We got some awards to hand out. Let's go to the court. Presenting awards are members of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union Board of Directors. Dan Kramer, Ron Fadness, Travis Fleschner, Jennifer Donalds, and Russ Adams. First of all, we'll be presenting the awards for the 2022 Class 4A All-Tournament Team. Presenting those, Mr. Jim Beamer, a member of the IGH SAU Board of Directors. Here is your 2022 Class 4A All-Tournament Team. From Clare Creek Amana, Bliss Beck.
from Cedar Rapids, Xavier, Macy Cadlick. From Western Dubuque, Ella Meyer. From Western Dubuque, Libby Lansing. From North Scott, Abby Hayes. From Clear Creek, Amana, Meg Berkland. And your 2022 Class 4A All-Tournament Team Captain, from Xavier, Libby Fendel. It's definitely a team sport, but some well-deserved individual honors for the state champions, the state runners-up, and a couple of teams that helped get their schools to the quarterfinals yesterday. That is a outstanding all-tournament team here in Class 4A. A good representation of all the schools and different positions as well. Just a quality all-tournament team there. More awards that need to be handed out. Fans, the Iowa Pork Producers would like to present the top producer award for the 4A championship match. Presenting the award is Taylor Anderson of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. This year's top producer in the 4A championship match from Xavier Macy Catholic. And now fans, introducing your Class 4A runner-up, the Clear Creek Amanda Clippers and head coach Jackie Club. And now your 2022 Class 4A champions, Coach Austin Feiler and the Saints of Xavier. The team celebrating with their fans, number one, Cedar Rapids Xavier. 33 and 4 on the year. They find a way to get it done, and they are your class 4A champion. Big smiles by the student athletes. So the 5A champion is Iowa City Liberty. The 4A champion is Cedar Rapids Xavier. We'll have the 3A championship match between number two, Davenport Assumption, and number four, Sioux Center. After a short break, we'll be back with that and a whole lot more from Extreme Arena in Coralville. This is Iowa PBS. Funding provided by you work hard to feed them well. That's why at Fairway, we're committed to our foundation of personalized service while treating our customers like family and valuing our employees. Fairway Meat and Grocery, that's what we're all about. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialists, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. <laughs> 